What is happening everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I do hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video which is on England and Leicester's starting left back Ben Chilwell. The rumours of Ben Chilwell to Chelsea won't go away and they've been around for a while but the question is does he make Chelsea better and another question is would he even want to come to Chelsea? That is all the stuff that we're going to be getting into today and also we're going to be looking at his statistics and metrics from this season and seeing if he Basically, he's a good player. I mean, we all know he's a good player, but we're going to be looking at his stats. Quick reminder to subscribe to Football Therapy if you have not yet subscribed, because I upload daily Chelsea Football Club content and will eventually upload different content, so subscribe even if you're not a Chelsea fan. And I want to remind you that you can join the Discord server to chat to me and other subscribers all day, every day about football. Link is in the description through Patreon. Right, Ben Chilwell, 22 years old, ripe. Lots of experience in the top flight now, or certainly enough. Starting left back for England, starting left back for Leicester, which are a good team at the moment. A dynamic, athletic, aggressive, talented player. Now, did Chelsea need Ben Chilwell? I've reserved opinion on this and actually come out and said recently, or relatively recently, probably not. The reason why I've said that is because Chelsea have Emerson, who started this season in imperious form and was kicking out superb statistics and is a very talented left back at a good age. He's very cultured on the ball, he's got a great engine on him and he's very technical. Emerson finished last season as Chelsea's starting left back but he continued on into this season in good form and even better form under Frank Lampard. Obviously we haven't seen him for a while because he's been injured. Marcus Alonso returned to the left back position and anyone who knows anything about football knows that Marcus Alonso is essentially a left wing back but he did okay in the left back role for a few games and you thought hmm, maybe Alonso can stay and he can come in and the easier games or come in when Chelsea are playing a free back system so he plays left wing back but it hasn't taken long for myself and many other Chelsea fans to revert back to the opinion that right Alonso is doing my head in. Alonso is no spring chicken he's pushing 30 kinda and often when he gets tired he becomes a bad player he's very slow on the ball he's clumsy he's a good player Alonso he's good in the final third he's good in the air but when he has to track back and defend and be going up and down like a dynamic fullback he's no good and the way Frank Lampard wants to play football he's going to need that obviously he's got Reese James on the right hand side to come in who's the perfect right back for that and Azpilicueta is a good player to rotate with so you look on the left Emerson yeah he's the right kind of profile of player to play left back but it's looking like more and more Alonso isn't the right kind of player to rotate with so what you flog Marcus Alonso and bring in Ben Chilwell well Ben Chilwell will want to start but you know what you can almost have two starting left backs and rotate them all the time probably keep them happy it's such a demanding position that uh, is exhausting that maybe you can have two sort of starting level left backs at the end of the video we're going to talk about whether Ben Chilwell would want to come to Chelsea but it's kind of making more and more sense why Chelsea might want to acquire him and that he might probably make Chelsea better let's take a look at some of Ben Chilwell's numbers and pull up that statistics screen righto defensive numbers Chile, yes, I'm going to call him Chile, makes 2.6 tackles and interceptions per game, or certainly has been doing so this season. Now, that's pretty darn good, especially as a fullback that is a dynamic fullback and say, you know, not like a central defender. 2.6 tackles and interceptions is very, very passable and decent. He's also good at no-nonsense defending and executes 1.9 clearances per game. So he can intercept the ball, he can get stuck in, regain possession, but he can also just put it out of the pitch and get it out of danger, which is still a really important thing in modern day football. So all in all, pretty impressive defensive numbers from a left back that's known to run forward all the time. Um, he's quite a sensible player as well, like we all know uh, Marcus Alonso is good at attacking but he's not sensible he often concedes free kicks or penalties and stuff Ben Chilwell's actually a very sort of mature and sensible player considering that he's at the young age of 22 that's a huge positive right then what's he like offensively well I tell you what in just eight appearances this season which equates to 720 minutes he's got one goal and three assists which is pretty dope if you think about it that's four goal involvements in just eight appearances if a fullback is averaging 
a goal involvement every other appearance and doing very good defensive numbers, it looks like you've got a gem on your hands, remembering he's still very young. And when it comes to key passes, Chile is dishing out good numbers as well. 1.4 key passes per game is a very positive number from your fullback. You could probably get that from one of your attacking midfielders, which is pretty good. So. 1.4 key passes, he gets a thumbs up from me, Chile, well done mate. Right, just a quick briefing on his statistics, let's get rid of this page. So as you can see, he's a little bit of an all-rounder. Good offensive numbers, good defensive numbers, and he's got some creativity in there as well. But most of all, he's a young, he's 22 years old, and he's got a good engine on him, he gets up and down well, and really that's exactly what you want in terms of a prospect that's actually delivering at the moment. Now, if you think about it, that's what Chelsea is all about right now. Prospects that are delivering on the pitch as it stands. Chelsea have a very young English team. Everyone's like, oh yeah, they're very talented. Prospects, to use the word again, they're stars, they're up and coming, they're starlets, but they're doing the business on the pitch. Ben Chilwell is absolutely that profile of player. And with that, you have to think he would work incredibly well under Frank Lampard. He'd fit the current philosophy and ethos at Chelsea Football Club and what they're currently trying to nurture within the club. I reckon Frank Lampard is the type of coach that would inspire Chilwell, that would get him to play well with his teammates on the pitch to combine well, and I think he'd get his ideology and style of how he wants to play. And also, it seems like Chelsea are having more and more full English internationals on the pitch. So, you know, the chemistry will transfer from the Chelsea side to the England side. Gareth Southgate will absolutely love that. Suddenly, Southgate might say, well, the starting left back's playing for Chelsea. He might be slightly more inclined to say, start Ruben Loftus-Cheek in an England game on the left-hand side, knowing they'll combine well together. But let's pose the question, would Ben Chilwell want to come to Chelsea? Like I said, he'd probably admire the project probably admires Frank Lampard as a player and probably as a coach now as well and like the idea of playing with all these players at the moment uh, if for a club that he plays with for England as well. It's an exciting project Chelsea Football Club at the moment but here's the caveat, so's Leicester City. Brendan Rodgers for as much as a sort of funny character as he was, he was a bit of a meme a few years ago when he coached Liverpool but he's a very very good coach. Brendan Rodgers and he, he plays exciting football, they're level on points with Chelsea but they've got a better goal difference and you know they'll be fighting with Chelsea for a top 4 spot this season. He might be riding the feel good factor over at Leicester and see no reason to leave because he might believe in the project but then again equally he might believe in the Chelsea project might look up, you know, he might have watched Frank Lampard as a kid, and he might want fancy living around West London, man. So there's a lot of stuff to consider there, and obviously Chelsea might offer him a big contract, loads of money, he might want the London lifestyle, and he might be friends with a few of the England players at Chelsea. So there's a lot to consider. In terms of footballing approach, or how both teams want to play, it is very similar. They both want to play with the ball, they both want to combine a lot in the final third and score goals. So in terms of projects, there's not too much to split them but maybe a bit more that Chelsea are notoriously at the moment playing young English talent and giving everyone a chance and that might be appealing to Chilwell but you'd imagine any transfer for him he'd imagine he'd be starting regardless especially to leave that Leicester side but you still have to consider the prestige in this in the name really the club Chelsea Chelsea are the most successful English club since the turn of the century They've got it in their DNA of winning trophies. Sure, there's a great project at Leicester at the moment. And sure, they won the Premier League, but let's have it right, that was like the ultimate fairy tale, 5,000 to 1. People still expect Chelsea to win titles and win trophies. And that is still absolutely in the Chelsea DNA. Often when they're in crisis, they still end up winning a trophy. Leicester are not synonymous for winning trophies. So that might be in his head and that could maybe sway him for a transfer to Chelsea. Obviously there's this rumour that the transfer ban might be lifted early for Chelsea. Maybe January, I did a video on it a few days ago, go check it out with Sancho in the thumbnail. That might be a little bit far-fetched or too much, too fanciful to pull him out of Leicester mid-season, but certainly next summer it could be an option. Now, do I think it's a good idea? Yeah, probably. I wasn't sure before, especially when I was thinking of players like Ian Matson and these young players coming through that could do a job. But if Chelsea want to go in hard next season and really push for it, then they need an elite 
players all over the pitch. They can still have Matson and other players being rotated in. And we always know Lampard and Jody Morris are going to keep a close eye on them. So there's that. So why not bring him in in the summer for a decent fee if he fancies it? You know, flog Alonso to La Liga. He served as well. Thank you. Still, what do you guys think? Do you think it's a waste of money or do you think it's a good idea? Do you think Chelsea should just keep Emerson, bring like it through Matson, sell Alonso, give Alonso more of a chance because he has been a great player for Chelsea? Get down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. And if you've enjoyed the content today, please do like the video. Remember, you can join the Discord server via Patreon in the link in the description. And you can follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's at Football Yannick. I'm out, guys. You lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me back